When you pull a gun, kill a man. Yes, Paul. Interesting facts about famous people. Early Western Actors Having listened to you guys about who you want to see when it comes to Western actors, I've made this initial video based on some of the earliest Western stars to jump onto the silver screen. In no particular order, here are some of the earliest actors to establish the Western as a genre on film. Bronco Billy, American actor, director, writer, producer, Gilbert M. Anderson, father of the movie cowboy and the first Western star. He performed in vaudeville before joining forces with Edwin S. Porter as an actor and occasional script collaborator. In Porter's startling early film, The Great Train Robbery, 1903, Anderson played several roles, among them the train passenger shot by bandits as he tries to escape. Anderson gained enormous popularity in hundreds of Western shorts, playing the first real cowboy hero, Bronco Billy. He had been presented with an honorary Oscar in 1957 as a motion picture pioneer for his contributions to the development of motion picture as entertainment. Gene Autry, Orvin Grover, Gene Autry, 1907 to 1998. The Singing Cowboy was a songwriter, singer, musician, actor, rodeo performer, and baseball team owner who gained fame by singing in a crooning style on radio, films, and television for over three decades, starting in the early 30s. Autry appeared in 93 films from 1934 to 1953. Between 1950 and 1956, hosted The Gene Autry Show on TV. During the 30s and 40s, he represented the straight-shooting hero, brave, honest and authentic. Tom Mix, Thomas Edwin Mix, 1880 to 1940, was the star of many early Western films from 1909 to 1935, appearing in 291 films. All but nine were silent films. Hollywood's first Western star, defined the genre in the early days of the cinema. His first appearance was in a short film, The Cowboy Millionaire, released 1909. In 1910, he appeared as himself in a short documentary film, Ranch Life in the Great Southwest, in which he displayed his skills as a cattle wrangler. Shot in Dewey, Oklahoma, with Selig Studio cameraman, the film was a success, and Mix became an early motion picture star. Gordy Murphy, actor and songwriter, one of the most decorated American combat soldiers of World War II, receiving every military combat award for valor available in the US Army and French and Belgian awards for heroism. After Pearl Harbor, he falsified documentation about his birth date in order to enlist in the Army. After the war, Murphy began his acting career playing himself in the autobiographical film To Hell and Back, 1955 based on his memoirs. Most of his roles were in westerns, making guest appearances on television shows and starred in the series Whispering Smith. He was an accomplished songwriter. He bred horses in California and Arizona and was a regular participant in horse racing. Murphy had post-traumatic stress disorder. He slept with a handgun under his pillow. Roy Rogers, Leonard Franken Sly, 1911 to 1998, was an actor, singer, and television host. His nickname was the King of the Cowboys, appearing in more than 100 films and many television and radio episodes of The Roy Rogers Show. Many of his films and television episodes also appearing with his wife, Dale Evans, 
his Golden Palomino, Trigger, and Bullet, his German Shepherd. The show ran on radio for nine years and then on television from 1951 to 57. His earlier roles were uncredited in films by fellow cowboy singing star Gene Autry. His productions usually featured a sidekick, often Andy Devine, Pat Brady, George Gabby Hayes, or Smiley Burnett. His later years, he allowed his name to be used in the franchise chain of Roy Rogers Restaurants. Walter Brennan was an actor and singer. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performances in 1936's Come and Get It, 1938's Kentucky, and 1940's The Westerner. One of only three male actors to win three Academy Awards, the only actor or actress to win three awards in the Supporting Actor category. He was only nominated for his performance in 1941's Sergeant York. Other worthy performances were 1944's To Have or Have Not, 1946's My Darling Clementine, 1948's Red River, and 1959's Rio Bravo. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.